what you need to know about this is that I had 80 cents. Like 83 cents, something like that. And I thought, I'm gonna buy something. Just because. Why not? It's change. I don't have 80 cents worth of credit on my credit cards, but I did have 80 cents and I'll probably pick most of it off of the street. And you think that's funny, then there's something wrong with you. Mm, not kidding. Ask in comments. Ask. <laughs> was it Julian? John Montague Hobson. According to me, not according to us a lot, I think he has no idea why I was messing with that guy. Neither do I. Who cares? I thought there's no way in hell that building is open on a Sunday at like 7 o'clock in the morning or earlier. Yeah, it was. I thought then there's no fucking way the practice room is open with piano. The first practice rooms were locked and I just thought, mm, I wandered around a little more. I found some more practice rooms. And one of the rules is leave the door open with the door stop, which means the other rooms are probably locked because those people didn't read the directions. You know why? Because they're probably not SJs. Uh, if they were ESTJs and ISTJs, man, this place would be locked up tighter than a mummy's coffin. Chastity belt. If they were ESFPs, they'd be in here drinking, uh, drinking beer and playing beer pong in here. If they were ISFPs, they'd be in here crying and writing in their journal. Maybe writing a song is probably not very good. It'll get famous. It'll get rich. If they were ESFJs, why would they be here? It's Sunday to be at church. They'd be at home making muffins. ISFJs would be helping them. If they were ESTPs, they'd be in here with me. <laughs> Drinking alone. Uh, and uh, getting super famous. If they were ENTJs, we'd be in here doing some bad stuff. It's gonna be scary. Uh, it's gonna be funny when I get back on there and I find out he's not even an ENTJ, just in my imagination. But I think he has Strolnikov is way too classy for that. He's not, he's he is classy, neither sassy nor trashy, not that I know of, which is interesting, deeply intriguing. An ISTP would uh, probably get mad at me and sell this piano, even though it doesn't belong to him, William Duncan. Here's that leaf. An INFP would not be anywhere near me because I'm doing improvisational stuff. They would be creeping on me from the next room. That's where Monadnik is. He's over there. He's in Arizona, creeping on this channel. For sure. I have pays of creeps, but they do it all in their imagination. He's like, I can only do both eyebrows, Michael. It's <laughs> <laughs> my impersonation of an INFP. <laughs> That's their ESTJ shout out. No, she didn't. She did not. Me, the INFJ. Hello. And Ocelot would be in here doing all the things. The eyebrow thing. The bad things. The things that make us super famous. He'd sell the piano, but then you feel bad and you bring it back. Multifunctional. Man. Is that just my opinion of ENFPs, or is that a real human being? Well, he is. I think I'm still giving him too much credit, so there's that. Luckily, he likes that. Uh, and that last quadrant, an ENTP would think this was the funniest video ever. Try to hang out with me, which I would, but not in here, because then the ESFPs would come. The ISFPs would follow them. And then the INTJs would follow them. And that's when bad things happen in the music industry. So, if an INTJ would like to be in here with me, then we will be here alone in the middle of the night. After we go to the graveyard, drink some box wine, and laugh about Alice in Wonderland. An INTP, I am not interested in them. They can go play dream theater over there by themselves and cry. They don't cry. Except for when they do. That's scary. Because that's their superhero function. They don't even want to be crying. Just like, I don't really want to be cleaning or washing dishes or flushing the toilet. But I do it because I have to. Ocelot does cool stuff because he has to. He doesn't really want to. That's extra rooted sensation. What he really wants to be doing is cleaning and washing the dishes. He doesn't want to be crying anymore. He wants to be really nice to me. That's extra rooted feeling. 
He wants to get to know God. That's introverted intuition, which he covers up with extroverted intuition. Dennis doesn't really want to be an asshole anymore. He just is because he's an ISFP8. He really wants to be cooking, but not really. He really wants to punch me in the face. His introverted sensation... Uh, oh, wait, it's the reverse. Well, he really wants to punch me in the face with extroverted sensation, but really, he'd rather be cooking and listening to his Anne Marie playlist. He'd like to be nice to me, but instead he's selfish and obsessed with his own feelings. That's introverted feeling. But what I wanted to talk to you about was improvisation. How I never realized... So, my mother being... Take my headphones off. My mother being a INTP5 requests my sister to race as an ISTJ, but Therese doesn't believe in any of this, right? Because Douche and the INTJ doesn't believe in any of it, and Sarah, the ENTJ, doesn't believe in any of it, and Justin, the ESFP, doesn't believe in anything, so therefore it must not be true. And Mary, my sister, doesn't understand it at all and thinks she's an ENFJ. My mother absorbed my FE and, and used it to her own advantage, and, um, she believes all of it, and now she says I'm possessed by the devil, so, and doing rituals. Mm -hmm. My dad, the ISFP, is just like Dennis. He's a psycho who's obsessed with me. I guarantee you. He's still over there writing poems about what a, something I am, a psycho. Uh, me as an ISFJ, so we, in Socionics, we're supposed to cooperate. We, I, I won't cooperate with that bitch no more. I won't cooperate with that bitch no more. Oh, no. For sure. Pretty sick of her. So my mom, with Therese, sits and fawns over her piano playing, but Therese is an ISTJ, so she does it all from sheet music. I've never seen her play anything by ear, because she's an ISTJ. She does everything by the book, which is fine. And Mia, the ISFJ, for some weird reason, which I don't understand, can do things, doesn't read sheet music, and gets on my mom's nerves, but not in that much trouble. Not like me, when I'm just being a perfectly normal human being. Mia can bite off my mom's head all day long. Why? Because they have an activation relationship, ISFJ and INTP. Like me and William Duncan, ISTPs. We kind of like it. It gets old, though. Got to give each other space. Now, if William Duncan was an extrovert, came and hung out with me, we could both be ESTPs. Or he could be in love with me as his duel, and then we could duel. It will never happen. Trust me, I know this fool. Panic attacks. Either drug-related or no. Low self-esteem. Which he doesn't deserve. But what was she's gonna? After I destroyed his self-esteem. So when I came out of my depression, I was super happy to be playing music again. And I realized, hey, I gave myself some credit and I thought, I'm pretty good. I taught myself. The only thing my mom did was yell at me for not going in order in the book. Because she loves introverted sensation. And has inferior extroverted feeling. And, uh, Manipulates me with her hidden in eye. Creates with any e to terrorize people. And thinks about it a lot with introverted thinking. But as soon as you get in your face about it, she can't handle that because her SE is vulnerable. So she... Did you guys know INTPs can be narcissists? Well, they can. And she absolutely has those flying monkeys. And yeah, they're my sisters. Including the scary one. Pretty cool. And my dad. How does she turn him into a flying monkey? That's her super ego relationship. They both want to be good people, so he believes her and she believes him. That's what they did to Brian. I don't even know what type he is. That's how much I respect him. If I respect you, I don't bother to learn about you. If I think you're a douche or a bitch or a traitor or the love of my life, he also, uh, then I will spend all of my time figuring you out. That's what I do. I come to places like this and you think I'm an extrovert and I say, no, you obviously don't know me. Obviously, I wouldn't steal a car when I have one. That's insane. And the dumbest thing, the dumbest setup in the history of the world. So one day, when I was at home and I had gotten back on perk, and I was telling Beth, please, uh, a few days later, a week later, whatever, I said, my family's psycho, you've got to change it. Why would she not do it unless she just didn't like me? It was a very simple request. Wouldn't have been a big deal. She could have explained why people couldn't do it. Mm. Doesn't matter. What I was going to say about Therese was that she comes home from Europe with all of her jazz books, and she is really rude. And you have to sit there and listen to her concerts. She won't listen to you talk about anything you have to say about yourself. She wanders out of the room talking to you. So you have to ignore her. And does she notice then? No. Vulnerable F.E. If you can run her about it, just like with Sarah, with vulnerable F.E., they fall apart. They don't know what you're talking about. But they're rude. 
They're really rude and they're really self-absorbed and all you ever get to hear about is them and their ideas. And they're, they're so rude that they even talk over themselves. It's a phenomenon that Justin Morton pointed out. He said, wow, you're talking and then nobody's interrupting you because they wouldn't dare. And then you just talk louder when you come up with a better idea or something that makes you look cooler. But I think Sarah might be an ENTJ and that's why I respect her because I think her extroverted feeling, she's fully capable of just turning it off because she hates it. She'll write you letters, she'll give you presents and then when, when she's done, she's like, this bitch is done. That's all there is to it. She says it to her kids, her husband, anybody, anybody. So if you ever got anything from Sarah, Rebecca, San Pietro, Morton, don't count on it to continue. And that's why I like her. Because I raised her. I taught her everything she knows about how to be a bitch. While pretending to be nice. That's true. And that's what I'm going to do to Scooby Scoop. <laughs> true. The diplomat. And he's like, I already know how to do that. That's called being an ambassador to Putin. Wouldn't it be funny if I made that up? How can I possibly made that up? That doesn't make any sense. He was the sanest person I ever talked to on there. Except for when he told me about the weird things that happened in Wander Around the City, which is probably Scientology. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to go to the Blueberry something. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll force somebody to pay for it. I'm welcome there. Yeah, I'm gonna walk downtown. After I show you that, uh, tell you what my mom got mad at me about. So Teresa is big into jazz m music, but she doesn't improvise that I've heard. She just learns everything about it and wishes that she could. She has a book that tells her how to do it. And so I always thought, you must have to have, according to my mom, and According to Therese, you gotta have a book to teach you how to do things that other people could do naturally now. I was raised on Motown. I was raised on all music, classical music. I was raised on jazz music. Not really, we, didn't, we weren't super into that, but we had it around. To look fancy and cool? No, because we just collected other people's trash. Back then, vinyls were, people were getting rid of them. Do I still have all my cassette tapes? Sure, and my uncles too, and all my, all my CDs, yes. More DVDs, I could open a movie store, yeah. I'm going to name it Buster's Blocks. Are we going to sell DVDs? No. Baby Blocks. Painted in lead paint. Ocelot and I are going to run it. We're going to paint them all with lead paint. And it's just going to say, yeah, they're going to learn their, their letters. It's just going to say F-U. L-G-B-T-Q. Well, those will be separate. F-U will just be on one. And then uh, L-G-B-T-Q will just all be separate. And you can do that if you want. Don't care. Don't want to hear about it. If your hormones are fucking you up, then that's your business. Uh, I don't really care about that. I care about the war in Ukraine. I care about uh, people in Africa and not really cared if your eyeliner didn't go on right this morning. Or if you're having a bad day because you chopped off your penis and you wish you still had one. That's your business. Don't ask, don't tell. That's a little policy we used to have in the military before you guys ruined it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Whatever, man. So I was trying to play a Randy Newman song and I was just sitting here on the piano at home doing something like this. at my phone, which my mother hates technology, that's why she hated my brother. Well, that's how musicians write music. How do you think composers do it? They just sit down, they dick around. And you just think, hey, how do you think this bullshit came about? Me, because I was trying to play this. And I thought it sounded boring, I'm sick of hearing about it. So, improvisation. I thought I was bad at it because I thought I had to learn it from a book. But I have an eye and people have been making me feel dumb my entire life. Probably like they've been making Ocelot feel dumb and that's why he screams at me. Dennis claims I have aphasia. <laughs> Sorry, not aphasia. <laughs> that is my subconscious forcing me to call him retarded, which is stupid because I do it consciously. So apparently my, sub my conscious is smarter than my subconscious, which is why I don't believe the psychics. Or, no, I do believe the astrologers. That's why when they bring astrology into it, I get confused. But I only trust what I feel, which is exactly what they say. And that's why I don't trust them. Does that mean I don't trust myself? Absolutely not. True story. <laughs> anyway, I was going to tell you there was a mirror in here. I think it's just so you can look at your posture. Like every once in a while, I lean back to see what I look like in sunglasses. I'm trying to figure out if I could be like Muse. I told them on personalitycafe.com that 
Uh, the best show I ever went to was Muse, but only because that was the only show anybody ever had a piano at. I never got to go to a Regina Spector show, and Bjork was not playing a piano. I did see the Four Seasons in Venice. I think I already told you about that. I'm not showing off. It was pretty cool. It so messed up our whole itinerary. It was one of the only spontaneous things we did on the trip. Why do I love the Four Seasons so much? I have no idea. I know less about music than you think. Just as per usual, I am overrepresenting my knowledge. Then I have a panic attack, and then I go learn it all. So I can come back and prove that I know it. That's what I did when I, my sisters accused me of lying about reading Gone with the Wind in fourth grade. I was lying. I saw the movie. Who cares? It was a long book. I feel like it. I was reading Wait Till Helen Comes and Alien Secrets. I don't have time for that bullshit. And then uh, they accused me of not reading it. And so in fifth grade, I read it. And then I read the sequel. And then they still didn't believe me because they thought that I was still lying. But my mother also thought that my sister was lying about being able to read because she treated her like she was stupid. Because my mom's an INTP and Mary's an ENTP. And she can turn off her introverted thinking and my mom can't. After I completely nail you psychologically on my channel and you dare tell me that there's no truth to any of this when you're staring straight in a mirror, which is not my face because I'm prettier than you. I mean, when I have a piece of paper and it says this is what's wrong with you and everybody agrees with me and it becomes the biggest YouTube channel and nothing is private, nothing is confidential. If you tell me, I'm going to tell the world. I don't care. And Sexton did it. You can be a whistleblower. I mean, I'll blow the whistle right in your face. Just to get your attention. A dog whistle, because you're a dog and only you can hear it. Right, Ocelot? If I were gonna write a song for Ocelot, it would be horrible and weird. It would be like jazz. I hate jazz. That's why I hate Ocelot. Because Dennis likes jazz and I hate Dennis. I like that one Miles Davis song. Kind of blue or kind of green, greenish blue. And all that's teal, I like that color and Dennis can see it. He said it's an E minor. Do I know what E minor is? No, not really. Do I play a lot of songs in E minor from sheet music? Sure. Do I know C major? Sure. That's easy. No sharps, no flats. Very straightforward. That's C. When I press people, there's nothing to that. You put your first, third, and fifth finger on C, E, and G. And move wherever you want. On to G, B, and D. D, F, and A. Separate your chords. That's a chord. Thirds, fifths, fourths, thirds. I thought I didn't know music theory. It's because my mother treated me like shit, and my sister treated me like shit, and my other sister treated me like shit, and my other sister now treats me like shit, and my other sister that I actually like ignores me. And my aunt is a psychopath who treats me like shit, and my dad was my best friend, and now he treats me like shit. My ex-husband was my best friend, and now he ignores me and treats me like shit and ruined my life. Now my kids who my slave for treat me like shit and ignore me, and they're a piece of shit to me, and I don't care if I never see him again. I don't care. Whatever, man. I gave you uh, 11 years of my life and was suicidally depressed about that for two more, and that's 13 years, and that's all you get. You get what you get, and don't throw a fit. The next 13 years are mine. Am I going to have fun? Yes, at your expense? For sure. Am I going to write songs about you, uh, passive-aggressively and aggressively? Absolutely. Why not? i got to get my money somehow. Maybe I'll be in a good mood. Maybe I won't. Maybe you'll hear it everywhere you go. If you do a rap song and every black person and Hispanic person in your neighborhood will blast their bass as it's saying that I hate you with your name and everything you ever did and all your business. And you have to leave the country. Let her leave it. Let her leave it. Let her leave it. Ah!